Hi everyone, it's your host Catherine from Catherine's Cooking Show. Today I'll be showing you how to make hot chocolate. Now, there are many ways you can make hot chocolate, but I'm going to show you how to make the very best hot chocolate. First of all, you want to go to your freezer and get some ice. Water is a weird substance that expands when it freezes, so you're going to want about two times the amount of ice that fits in your cup. There you can see that I've already put my ice inside the kettle. Now flip on the kettle. As you could see before, the ice was a solid, but it won't be for long. At this very second, heat is being applied to the ice. Before I switched on the kettle, the particles were very close together and vibrating back and forth, even though you couldn't see them moving. Now, they're moving a little bit faster and expanding. By now, the ice should be melting. Let's take a look to make sure. Yep, definitely melting. The reason the ice was melting is because heat was being applied to it. The particles were moving faster and faster and starting to break apart. The ice was breaking into a liquid. Soon, all of that ice will be water. Now the water is all liquid. Let's look to make sure, though. See? No ice left. Soon this water should be boiling. That's because heat is still being applied. You know that you know that this water is starting boiling because bubbles are appearing at the surface of the water. It also sounds like this. Now, heat is being applied to water. The particles are moving around very, very quickly. Some of them are bumping around so much that they're getting kicked out. Sometime soon you'll be starting to see steam. That is the water going into its gas state. That happens at 100 degrees Celsius. We don't know that now, but soon it will be steaming. As we can both see, Still, there's not quite any steam coming out of there. In a few minutes, I'm going to open up this top part and you'll see lots of steam pop out. Oh! Now, we couldn't see any steam escaping, but as soon as I put my iPod close to that, it fogged up. I'm sure you noticed that. The kettle has just clipped off. That means our ready, water is ready to go. So, grab your cup and your fork. Fork, some, forks are better for stirring, in my opinion. Sometimes people use spoons, but really forks are better. So, pick up your water, hold your cup, pour it on it. Be very careful, this water is very, very hot and you could burn yourself. Fill up the cup. That's my hot chocolate with all the water in it. I had already added the hot chocolate mix before you pour it in, but if you want, you can add it after. So I'm going to take my fork and I'm going to stir it all. You don't want any lumps in it because that totally ruins the hot chocolate. So stir it until there's no lumps left. Now, I know many, many people like hot chocolate with marshmallows, and I have to say that I do agree. So. I would be using nicer marshmallows, but this is the only one I had in the house. So, here is my stale Halloween marshmallow. You can use fresh ones too, it doesn't really matter. Add it in. There is your delicious hot chocolate, all ready to go. Now, there you go, the best recipe for hot chocolate. Thank you for watching. Tune in tomorrow for the next episode of Catherine's Cooking Show. Thanks for watching!